So this is our hip adduction isometric. Real simple setting up for this one. If you've ever done a side plank before, in terms of elbow directly under the shoulder and a nice straight line all the way running through the head to the heel. All we need is an object, a box, plyometric box, could be a couple of yoga boxes, it does not matter. All we need is an object to place the foot higher to allow us to drive down and pull the hips off the floor. I want you to imagine you have a piece of string running from your head, neck, shoulder, hips, all the way down to your heel. That string should be completely straight. There should be no breaks in the chain. Any breaks in that straight line, most of the pressure is going to hit that one part and it's going to allow compensation. We only want the likes of the adductors and the core working here. From here, we're going to bring the front knee to an 80 degree angle. We want to make sure that we tilt that pelvis inward to help bring the abs in, to also help bring the glutes in, but to also, more importantly, help eliminate any compensations from the, that low back or like a rotation of the thoracic here. As we push up, it's a common compensation to push up, keeping the head up. We want to make sure we keep the head in a nice straight line from the body. Any angle is going to put unnecessary stress on the neck. Nice straight line, driving that heel down into the floor to push the hips off. To progress, we can bring and we can also bring in the likes of yoga block just for added tension and more feedback. The more tension we can apply, remember, the more signals sent through the brain and the more mobility gains eventually from the CNS. So here we go. And that is our hip adduction isometric.